There's a, a new adaptation of uh, The Witches uh, by uh, Robert Zemeckis. Um, obviously, this is this is based on the Roald Dahl novel that was previously filmed by Nick Rogue, the Nick Rogue version, which features the, uh, the Headland Hotel in uh, Newquay. And uh, in the Nick Rogue version, there is this kind of air of weirdness and strangeness, which is very, very Nick Rogue. Although the ending is very severely compromised. They, uh, they, they, they botch the ending. There's a whole sort of story about, about why they do that. This is uh, a new version, which kind of sends, it takes, moves the story to 60s America. A um, uh, young kid goes to live with his uh, grandmother, played by Octavia Spencer, and uh, actually we've got a clip. Let's play a clip. So he goes to live with his with his grandmother, played by Octavia Spencer, and she tells him that witches are real. Here is a clip. I don't know what I saw. It was a scary lady. She called to me, and when she did, when she talked, her her mouth was she wearing gloves, long ones, up to her elbows. Was she wearing a hat? It looked like she had a towel on her head or something. And when she talked, did her voice sound ugly and scratchy like an outhouse door swinging on a rusty hinge? I feared this was happening. That lady you saw in the grocery store was no lady. What you saw was a witch. And so from there, she takes him to this fancy schmancy hotel where it turns out the witches are having a huge big convention, which is overseen by Anne Hathaway's Grand High Witch, who speaks with this really, really peculiar sort of Scandi inflected accent. And I mean, it's like it's so weird that it's like she talks for a while before you realize that the voice she's the voice she's doing is meant to be skinny and Norwegian. It's really, really strange. And uh, frankly, no match for Angelica Houston. But then there's a lot of kind of Stuart Little style animated mouse action. You, what you don't have is any of that eerie peculiarness of the Nick Rogue version, which I, I still actually have a great fondness for, with the exception of the ending. And in this case, they don't wimp out of the ending. They 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 do they do go for it. So it's weird that you've got a film that for most of it, um, it's not as kind of strange and peculiar as the rogue version. But then at the end, it's got an ending which is much more in keeping with the Dahl original. Um, Guillermo del Toro was originally going to do, I think it's a stop motion animation. He's now got a a, a, a co-writing credit on it. It's good fun. I mean, it's good fun. It's It's a weird thing because this and the rogue together they both have strengths and they both have weaknesses but the thing with this is it does it does have the strength of its convictions um even though you know as directed by Zemeckis it doesn't have that odd off-kilter oddness that uh, that you get from uh, from the original rogue